Hey there pumpkins, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Amy Pumpkin and I like The Walking Dead and Mac and Cheese. Before we start, make sure you hit subscribe and now let's get started. We're going to begin by sticking down our eyebrows so that none of those little hairs get in the way or start sticking up. If you don't have brows, then you won't need to do this step, you lucky, lucky duck. So now we're going to draw in rough heart shapes around the eyes and then we're going to go around the outside of those heart shapes with a few layers of liquid latex. Be careful not to let any of the latex get anywhere near your eyes because it can be very dangerous but if you're careful and you only use a small amount at a time you'll be absolutely fine. So now we've got a few layers of the liquid latex down, we're going to wait for it to dry. This one dries clear so we're going to wait until it's nice and clear and then we're going to start lifting the inner edges. Again be gentle when lifting the latex from around that delicate skin around your eyes. If you do find this a little bit difficult around that delicate skin you can use a tiny little bit of baby oil on your fingers and that should help lift it a bit more gently. And now we're going to fill the insides of our hearts with red face paint. This is a water activated paint and I'm going to keep the colour fairly opaque so I'm not using much water added to it. And I'm going to go all around the edges of the hearts, underneath the latex and then we're going to fill in the rest of the eye area. Now to add some depth we're going to use a small amount of black face paint and we're going to blend that around the red so that there's no harsh lines. Now we're going to deepen the effect further with some dark red face paint. I find that using the brighter red first gives me a good base to build upon with the darker shades. Kind of like using a colour corrector before your foundation. And then we're going to line our water lines with a red liner pencil. This is actually a lip liner, I couldn't find a red eyeliner for the life of me, uh, but the lip liner worked just fine. And now we're going to help to disguise the eyelashes a little bit with a coat of that darker red face paint. Now whilst that paint is drying we can move on to the sealed up mouth effect. First we're going to take some facial tissues, I have Star Wars ones because I'm just that cool. <laughs> Uh, we're going to take one single layer of the tissue and we're going to rip the edges to fit nicely around the mouth and then we're going to stick that around the edges of the mouth using our liquid latex and then we're going to go over the top with a bit more latex and repeat the process once more with one more piece of tissue so we lay the tissue over the latex and then apply another layer of latex over the top and allow it to dry. Now to make that skin look a bit scarred and, well, kind of gross, 
Uh, we're going to use a flat piece of scar wax and we're going to smooth this over the top of the mouth and we're going to make sure the edges are as smooth down to the skin as possible. Now to get that lumpy scarred effect, we're going to go over again with some more latex using a sponge. As the latex dries, it's going to suck out some of the moisture out of the scar wax and it's going to leave a really kind of damaged skin kind of effect. So now that latex is dry, we're going to go over with some full coverage foundation to blend everything together. Now you can kind of see that gnarly texture of the mouth skin coming through and we're going to set that foundation with some powder foundation on top which will again suck up any excess moisture. If, like me, you get any lifting of the latex, just dab a little bit more liquid latex over the area, allow it to dry and reapply the foundation again, and that should solve that problem. Now we can go back in with our dark red and clear up any foundation fallout. And then we're going to go in very carefully with some white face paint to highlight the edges of our heart shapes and bring them forward a little bit. And if we're highlighting, we may as well do some light bronzing. <laughs> Uh, for this I'm using a bright pink blush and we're going to apply this pretty much anywhere you would apply bronzer. It can be a little bit difficult to apply evenly over the top of the latex so I'm applying using a smaller brush and then dispersing it out and blending it with a bigger brush. Now we're going to take our dark red face paint again and we're going to draw some super thin lines like veins coming from the top and bottom of each heart. So for this step I tried using liquid lipstick to draw on a kiss shape but I wasn't happy with the shape of it so I wiped it off, covered it with a bit more foundation and we'll come back to that again once the foundation has settled in. So now we're going to take some fake gel blood and we're going to apply this around the raised sections of the heart allowing it to drip from the bottom sections down the cheeks. 
try to dab the blood on rather than brushing so that some parts are thicker and some parts are more watery. This will all add to that messy bloody effect. Now let's go back to that kiss print. I'm going straight in with the lipstick wand this time to get a better, more rounded lip shape. Again, this is meant to look like it's been kissed on, so it doesn't have to be perfectly neat and it doesn't need to be evenly coloured. Finally, I bought these plastic eyeballs on eBay and I'm just dripping on a bit of our fake blood over them to dirty them up a little bit and then I'm going to put them in this cute little gift box it's the perfect Valentine's gift from your friendly neighborhood psychopath <laughs> this was a super fun effect to do I definitely would not recommend it if you have a cold however because you do need to rely on just your nose for breathing <laughs> but it is really cool and a really creepy look to do Thanks so much for watching guys, make sure you subscribe before you leave and become a member of the Pumpkin family and you can check out my other videos by clicking on the links right here. Thanks again for watching guys, I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon.